Since 1979, the original Eat Bulaga, now named as EAT, has provided us a handful of timeless segments. These segments not only gave us countless funny moments, it also left us countless memories to reminisce. They also served as blueprints of present segments we have today. From hilarious jokes to sweet moments, here are some of the most memorable Eat Bulaga segments of all time. Little Miss Philippines The segment, Little Miss Philippines, was first featured in 1984 and quickly rose to prominence. After weeks of competition, adorable and gifted children hit the stage for a chance to win the title of Little Miss Philippines. However, regardless of who won, the segment was as more of a launching pad for many future kid stars and famous people than just the trophy. Jessa Zaragoza, Gladys Reyes, Camille Prats, Pauline Luna, Lady Lee, Kim Domingo, Francine Prieto, Jillian Ward, Julie Ann San Jose, Riza Mae Dizon, and Ice Segura were a few of the famous Little Miss Philippines contestants who became popular after joining. Doble Cara. Singing with alternating male and female voices is a rare, remarkable talent. The creators of Eat Bulaga realized this and created a sector to cater to these gifted but underappreciated people. To match the type of voice used throughout the performance, the candidates dressed as men on one side of the stage and women on the other. In earlier iterations of the part, the competitors would lip sync or sing along to pre-recorded vocal tracks. Later versions, however, mandated real singing, transforming the section into a singing contest. Laban O. Bawi Eat Bulaga increased the stakes in terms of awarding cash rewards via the competition, Laban O. Bawi. Here, players lined up the boxes in an effort to win the top prize, which might be worth a million pesos. Before proceeding to the jackpot round, contestants have to make it through the elimination round. The Sex Bomb Girls, who were the show's resident dancers at the time, were present to provide color to the game. In relation to that, the Sex Bomb Girls, whose sexual attire and dance movements were prominently featured in the episode, offended moralists who thought their antics were inappropriate for noontime watching. The Sex Bomb Girls were at the height of their fame, so this didn't deter viewers from enjoying the program during that time. Mr. Pogi On national television, dashing young men were given the opportunity to showcase their skills, abilities, and good looks. The showbiz careers of some of its players were also launched by the segment. One of its noteworthy alumni is the actor Jericho Rosales. Edgar Allan Guzman, a Capuso actor, also benefited from the part for his start in the industry. That's my boy. The popular, Little Miss Philippines, segment from the noontime show had a male counterpart called, That's My Boy. Similarly to Little Miss Philippines, That's My Boy debuted a few fresh young actors in Philippine entertainment, notably B.J. Forbes, who landed a role in Eat Bulaga, hosting Super Serena. The introduction of the segment, Super Serena, in 1995 brought attention to trans women. Given that a competition for transsexual women was unheard of at the time, the concept alone was unique. This segment helped the society in the overall perception of trans women. Juan for all, all for Juan. Known as show for the masses, Eat Bulaga took their acts to the streets. The segment visited barangays all around the Philippines to speak with locals and offer financial support to those in need. But more than the cash and awards, the program moved viewers' hearts with its touching real-life tales of everyday people. The segment's popularity led to the creation of a number of subsegments that equally pleased Eat Bulaga viewers. Calyuseria. One of the most popular Juan for All, All for Juan subsegments was the soap opera like Calyuseria. The unplanned and extraordinary love match between Maine Mendoza, then known as Yaya Dup, and Alden Richards was created in the subsegment. The two wowed onlookers with their interactions, lip-syncing to popular songs and movie audio clips to communicate. Fans called Maine and Alden's on-screen chemistry Alda, and it helped eat Bulaga's popularity and ratings even further, spanning the internet and social media. Eat Bulaga's ratings were consistently above 40%, peaking at an astounding 50.8% on October 24, 2015. 
during the live broadcast of the All Dub Grand Fans Day at the Philippine Arena. Calyceria ran from 2015 to 2016, but its impact continues to be felt to this day by both Maine and Alden, and Eat Bulaga. Bawal Judgmental On October 29, 2019, Bawal Judgmental made its debut. It challenged players to assess and predict the right life decisions of a group of people. The process revealed emotional memories from the past, inspiring amazement and surprise in the studio and among TV viewers. The program evolved into a forum for public discussion on current events and societal issues. Celebrities used Bawal Judgmental as a platform to address issues from the past and the present, and some shared entertaining anecdotes about their lives and careers that the general public was unaware of. Pinoy Henyo The memorable and now iconic Pinoy Henyo included contestants who had to make guesses quickly. The procedure was to place a piece of paper with a word printed on it on the contestant's forehead. In order to avoid giving away too much information, the contestant's partner and fellow competitor were only allowed to respond with yes, no, or maybe in order to aid in the guessing process. The group that correctly identified the word in the shortest amount of time advanced to the jackpot round. Pinoy Henyo hit the right spots among viewers, so much that parties and gatherings hosted by Filipinos here and abroad often include the game for fun and laughs. Now that they have transferred to another network, EAT continues to provide innovative segments that keeps viewers' attention. Amongst the list of new segments, Vorda's 5, Babala, Wag Kayong Ganon, and Sugod Bahai Manga Kapatid are three of the most notified of them. Vorda's 5 showcases well-built men with unremarkable dancing talents. Babala, Wag Kayong Ganon, is similar to Bawal Judgmental, however they need to rename it due to ongoing copyright issues. Similarly, the Sugod Bahai Manga Kapatid is a renamed Wan for All, All for Wan segment. No matter what year it is, and what station they are in, EAT will continue to innovate and provide extraordinary segments for years to come. They have been doing such for the past 44 years and we are all looking forward for another 44 years of unforgettable, laugh-tripping, and inspiring segments. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Please help me reach my first 500 subscribers. If you have an EAT segment in mind that I did not include on the lists, you may write it down on the comment section. Thank you and see you on the next video.